In my previous video, I reported that a girl at Big Boogie's concert was trying to fight Carmen. That link is popping up as well as is down below. Supposedly, this girl is a huge fan of Big Boogie. She has been supporting him all throughout the years. They got FaceTime calls. Sis been popping up at his music video being filmed. She got his whole face tatted. So, Sis is obsessed. Carmen and Boogie is scared. That's why they put me out the club. That's why they abandoned me from the club because Carmen's scared of me. Like, why else would they put me out the club? Because she said I pulled her hair. Oh my God. If I did and she wasn't gonna do nothing, she act all scared and ran behind snow. That was it. Like Boogie was gonna say anything. Boogie didn't say nothing when I was cussing her out. Boogie was standing right there and Snow was standing right there when I was cussing her out. So I don't wanna hear nothing about nothing because she's not about that life. And if she felt like I pulled her hair, she should have swung on me then and there. So we could have banged it out then and there. But nah, she would rather go run and tell little Boogie and Snow that I pulled her hair. Okay. And Corey, whose account is now negative $200,000 after Danny released his chase information, is back hanging out with his assistant again. Zoe tweet, he said, I know damn well Corey not back with his old assistant that left because he left her for Maddie, then was chit chatting with Maddie. Child, never mind. Let me just watch this unfold. I had to send your ass home. Like, I was not going for that. That don't even make sense. Like, well, I'm on the phone with her and we're trying to find him. And then I, I posted that screenshot on my story already because I, I have screenshot and I recorded my conversation with her. To who, to who she was telling me to not keep this baby or, or, or like insinuating for me not to keep this baby because she when she spoke to his ex his ex said that her pregnancies were horrible and all this stuff and he's she's like he barely has time for his kids now that's also what his assistant said best friend because they're best friends he keeps saying assistant but no y'all they're best of friends Corey also explained why he called cps on carmen now real quick you know i don't you know i don't like bringing carmen into the situation and i, I don't yeah, want to talk course, about her at course, all course. but People do want to know, like, did you, she said you called CPS on them. Let me keep it a band with you, y'all. Y'all listen to me real quick. This is my, this is my dad's sister, right? I woke up one morning, right? She woke up one morning out of nowhere because I've been complaining about seeing my kids for the longest, you know what I'm saying? No matter what people think, like, it's not, I don't care. I, I don't give a fuck nobody say keeping my kids for me is not cool at all. I don't give a fuck how you feel, what you say. You know what's so funny? Y'all, I ain't even tell y'all this, huh? Oh, I didn't even say nothing. So, um, yeah, like two days ago, what was it, yesterday? I think it was yesterday. Yesterday, I decided to, you know, like, you know what, bro, fuck this. Like, I, I it been six months, I'm finna, something gotta give. I decided to just pull up to Carmen's house and um, go see my kids or whatever, right? And, um, bro, it hurt my heart, dog, because I knocked on the door. And as I was knocking on, and I got this shit on video too, but I didn't want to, I didn't record the whole thing because I, when I went over there, I literally went over there on peace. Lord knows, I wasn't on no trouble, no, no messy shit. And like, look, I just want to come see my kids. I hope you're doing well. And I'm knocking at the door and I hear, I'm hearing Hayden knock at the door back. So I'm, I'm thinking she in there, won't open the door. And I'm like, open the door, man, is that at? And I heard him like kind of being like kind of concerned and he was twisting the doorknob so I could see he was trying to unlock the door. And if they you know, I ring the doorbell again because she got a ring doorbell. And she hit the corner with her and big boogie little sister, little light skinned girl. I don't know. She recording this shit. I'm like, hey, she's like, what you doing here? You don't want to be here. I'm like, I just came to see my kid. Come to find out, she had Kayla in the house by him damn self. He's two years old, and she outside of her little new car smoking weed, smell like a pile of weed, bro. So, so at the end of the day, let me tell you how I end up calling CPS. I call CPS. Uh, about a week and a half ago because Danny was the one that suggested me to call CPS. She woke up, oh, you know what? I had a, I, I had a dream and, uh, I don't know if you want to do this or not, but I think it could be help you see your kids. Uh, you should call CPS on her. So at first I was like, huh? And I was like, nah. So like days went by, I didn't do it. But then I'm like, I'm just thinking about trying to see my kids. I'm like, you know what, bro? Fuck this. This is the only and let me tell you something, keep it a band on everything. You know when a person make you feel like you're not doing nothing to see your kids. So when she suggested me to call CPS, I didn't do it. She could hear me. She kept saying like, oh, oh, you must. Bro, she used to always throw brain karma up. Oh, you must want to go be with karma. Just go be with it. I'm like, what the fuck? They got to do anything. Like, she was just say random ass weird shit. She really obsessed with karma. Better with y'all. And she told me to call CPS. I called her like three days later. And that's how I called CPS. She got that lie. said, Brittany told me to call. Like, bro, why you? 
Like, who does that shit, bro? You just go in there and just tell bold face black lies for no reason. Like, you was the you one know, that told me. I gotta keep it a bean with you, Corey. You know, that was wrong. I ain't gonna hold you. Listen, I'm gonna keep it a band with you. I, at first, I really didn't give a fuck because it's like at the end of the day, you keep my kids from me and you playing games on the internet. You doing all this. So, like, all right, see this. I'm a real father. You feel me? Like, I don't give a fuck. Nobody say those are my seeds. No, so I feel I, you. I'm a, but think about it. Because if the, the CPF people come and take them from Carmen because of what you're telling them, and then they see what's going on with you on the internet, what do you think they're going to nah, eat but I, No, no, that case. But with, on the internet, ain't got nothing to do with real life. I well, no, I feel like I'm just... You know, some of them, you yeah. might get a bullshit ass CPS worker. You know, some of them just be like, No, I had I had a great one. I had a great lady that that that, that respected that she knew what was going on. So trust me, I was moving very smooth. Like, and I was respectful about it. You know what I'm saying? It was just me just being a concerned father, dog, at the end of the day. No, I feel it. I feel it. I call CPS on my I mean, I mean, I, I feel like, I feel like the reason why I ain't tripping because it gets wet. I'd rather been to did something to try to see my kids rather than not trying to see my kids at all because I'm worried about what people say. Saying, you feel me? Ain't no fans helping me raise my boys. Ain't no fans gonna help me take care of my kids. Fans are just watching. You know what I'm saying? Speaking These of kids, my boys. Corey, now we, huh? ain't, we ain't gonna dwell on that situation because that's y'all's business. You know, I don't want to do too much on that. But um, a little birdie running around here talking about you got a new one on the way. What? Don't you got a new little shoot shoot do the loop on the way? What is that? A new little baby somewhere. Hell no, no damn baby, man. I want a girl though. The only baby I had with that damn monkey, she probably disgraced over there with that damn. <laughs> <laughs> Corey, all some told us about Dare Danny. Well, I don't know about that. Oh yeah, like she was doing all that shit to me, y'all trying to hurt me and stuff. And she was texting me that <laughs> the other night, right before I uh, before we broke up with everything. I was in her Lamborghini, and I was so tired of her tree when she treated me, so I fucked the girl in the back seat of her car. So I just want her to know, like, while she riding around that back seat, go look. On that Louis Vuitton, whatever the kind of her man's cover she got, I use that and the pillow in the back seat of Lamborghini. So uh, hopefully, uh, she will get that cleaned up, man, and just get herself together, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think, I think she'll be out right in jail. She she'll be out right in jail, man. Oh my God, Corey, you just told these people that you put somebody in the back of Denny's car? I had to. I had to get some get back. That I don't understand what I've been dealing with. I don't give a fuck what people think, bro. If they was in my shoes and they was there seeing what I was dealing with, the manipulation, the controlling, the <laughs> the threats and uh, all of that shit, man. Her texting my phone, sending me screenshots of her texting other... What, what woman does that? Why would you send me a screenshot of you? Because you just got mad at me because of your insecurity and you text me and you send me a screenshot and you texting four at the same time. And I'm just like, I'm just like, only thing you kept doing is showing your true colors. So I never said nothing, but the whole time I was rolling up a bullet for her ass. You see what I'm saying? Oh my God. And, 